Fezzy, Dave uh, put together some more opinions for you. You want to do opinions with Fez? Yeah, I'd love to do that. All right, uh, you want to do them uh, for him, uh, Dave? Absolutely, that'd All be perfect. Right, here we go. None of this works. Opinion. Let's try it again. Oh, here comes Fez with his opinion. Oh, here comes Fez with his opinion. What's up? What are you upset about, Fez? Because the wrong machines were plugged into the wrong pots on the board. Oh, here comes Fez with his opinion. Who was in charge of that? That's Pitsy. Oh, here comes Fez with his opinion. How do you think uh, Pitsy's doing? I think Pitsy sucks. Oh, here comes Fez with his opinion. Really? Seriously? Yeah, I really do. I really do. And I don't mean to get all pissed off, mm -hmm. but I, I really do. Because there were so many things that were screwed up in this studio today beyond the technical difficulties of this th of this place just not even being set up. Could it be done better? Yes, oh, it could definitely. With his opinion. Okay. All right, ready, Dave? Yes. All right, I let's go. The, Olymp oh, comes the Olympics. Opinion. Try not to step Stop on it. the uh, drop. Here we go. Oh, here comes Fez with his opinion. The Olympics. Should be boycotted. Really? Yes. Why? Because of what's going on in Tibet. With the Chinese government cracking down and arresting people and being violent against peaceful demonstrations. So all, all the athletes all these years shouldn't uh, be able to compete. I mean, we had this before with Russia, right? Right. And we had this before in the United States when then the Russians and the communist countries wouldn't come. The one point of the, the ancient Olympics was we put our differences aside, see what brings us together, and that's sport. But now you're politicizing sports because there's always going to be a problem in the world. Right. Well, I'm surprised China got this in the first place. If everyone has such a problem with China, I don't know why they were awarded this. And if Who has a problem with China? Well, I know the European Union does, mm -hmm. and the United States has some uh, human rights issues. But this isn't about, and I agree with you 100% on those issues, but this isn't about, hey, let's see who we can leave out of things. This is like, what about bringing the world together? But if it's that important of an issue, you know, people being slaughtered in Tibet. All right, let's suppose this. When Jimmy Carter didn't let us go into Russia, mm -hmm. did that help? Did it hurt? Did it do anything? I don't think it did anything. Right. All you're doing is taking away those. In the meantime, that you're saying, okay, uh, we won't go there for the sporting event, right? Right. Do you realize how many American companies are dealing with China, including your government, borrowing money from China? Oh, yeah, it's So true. don't you think it's a little hypocritical that all of a sudden that these young athletes have to fucking be the ones who stand up for the world. <laughs> okay, I won't get to fucking be a gymnast now because of what happened in Tibet. In the meantime, Bush is fucking bankrolling his war on money that he's getting from China. Yeah, that's true. I hadn't thought about that. But I just see like... Oh, here comes Fez with his opinion. The Eurythmics. Uh, underrated. I thought they were really good. I think Annie Who's Lennox... underrated them? <laughs> They're in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> They're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> Are they in the Hall of Fame? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Annie Lennox gets invited to anything. She had two fucking hits, and they, and they won't leave her alone. How many people get to stay around for uh, 25 years or whatever it is with a bad haircut? <laughs> oh, here comes Fez with his opinion. Soap. Soap is uh, slimy. I hate it when a hair gets on it. I hate hair on a soap. Slimy? It's soap. Yeah, but when the soap sits in the soap dish and it gets all slimy, I hate that. So you're anti-soap? I'm not anti-soap. I'm anti-slime. I need something that isn't going to goop up. Here's, well, what do you use instead? Well, what I do is I have uh, I put my soap on a thing where it can dry through so it doesn't sit in its own puddle. So it's not the soap's fault? No. Okay. It's more, like the, keep it. it's more like the soap dish's fault. Right. And that, that was not a soap dish. You know what I think you ought to do? Use the soap once, and then that's it, Fez. You throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> throw it to the homeless. Oh, here comes Fez with his opinion. Bob Eubanks. Bob Eubanks, um, second best game show host ever. Right behind uh, Bill Cullen. Oh, here comes <laughs> Fez with his opinion. You are blowhard. If anything happens, Fez, with everybody going every which way... You ought to think about doing a show with the blowhard. <laughs> Just you and your blowhard talking black and white TV. 
for a podcast. Oh, here comes Fez with his opinion. Charleston Chews. Ah, uh, better frozen. Than oh, actually. Here comes Fez with his opinion. The Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, Bob Euchre was uh, their most famous player. I have that's no not idea. an opinion. That's just <laughs> that's a that's factoid. A, that's trivia. <laughs> oh. oh, here comes Fez with Mark his opinion. With that one. Yeah. Soundgarden. Uh, Soundgarden. Um, you're trying to stump him. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you're bringing up things I don't know. It's just opinions. You're, you're bringing up um, national teams in another band. <laughs> All right, here's one. Fleas. Fleas. Um, the collar doesn't work. The flea collar doesn't work. You need to go to a vet for that. Get a dip. Oh, here comes Fez with his opinion. This is turning into good, no good. <laughs> Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs, too small. They're a lousy breath men. They don't do anything. Useless. We well, don't take them one at a time. <laughs> Useless. Just, can I have one Tic Tac? <laughs> Useless, he said. <laughs> Useless. Oh, here comes Fez with his opinion. The color beige. Uh, boring. Awful. All right, we're down to one word opinions. We've got <laughs> useless and the boring. Are you getting a little tired, Fez? With his one more. One more. Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela, um, freedom fighter. Uh, ex <laughs> wrongly imprisoned. <laughs> These aren't opinions. These are, you're playing word association. <laughs> They're Wikipedia entries. <laughs> but, freedom fighter. But here's the good news, because uh, we said we were going to monitor. He thinks it's Pyramid. <laughs> he thinks it's Pyramid that he's playing. All right, eight. The Rover family is actually pretty goddamn talented. They always hit their harmonies. Yeah. yeah. And I like when they make up uh, parodies about either the Pope burning in hell or a recent <laughs> death. I never like um, the Ropers better than a recent death. Now, they believe that they won't die. They're, they're that good. Right, because death comes to sinners. Right. Uh, yeah. So I mean, but they're getting that directly out of the Bible. Yeah, yeah. That's what Shirley Phelps Roper says. Is this one of the reasons why you had trouble with the Bible, Fez, and you lost your way? Well, there's there's so many contradictions in it. You know, where you get a thou shalt not thou shalt not kill, and then you're just you know Philistines are getting slaughtered by the tens of thousands. It's very hard to take in. Maybe the biggest problem I did was ever try to read it. Yeah. And Earl, it gives you comfort, and it just gets Fez upset. Yeah, I find most <coughs> of the stories about, you know, about faith, about unconditional love. About what happens Jewish. when you get to dead Philistines? What, dead Philistines? I figure it's like they're against God, and God wipes out people who are against them. But you sound like the Ropers now. <laughs> you literally sound like Shirley Phelps Roper when she was so happy that the the new Joker died. <laughs> I look at it as if you either if you're for or against God, it's like if you're for him, he'll stand by. If you're against him, face the consequences. He's almost like Bush was after nine eleven. You're either for us or against us, mm. the God people. Now, do you think God is for Dave? Uh yes, he is for Dave. Because really? A, because he is, a, you know, he's a practicing Catholic. So as long as you're a Christian, he's for you. Yes. Now, what if you were a Muslim, but you were a good person? Um, if you haven't, there's certain things. You, if the Bible states that you, you know you have to accept Christ as your Savior, but you don't. But you know, you you got to face the consequences. So God will get you and burn you. Yes, He will burn. He will burn. Now, uh, Einstein uh, wasn't a Christian. Is he burning right now? Sad but true. He is burning in hell. Uh, Gandhi. Gandhi, hmm, probably burning in hell. He did not accept Christ. Now, how is he any different than Shirley Phelps Roper? <sighs> He's worse. Yeah. You know what you ought to do, Earl, is uh, get up uh, a sign that says, God kills fags, and walk back and forth on 57th Street. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not as hardcore as Shirley. Shirley's just... She's You're not as hardcore. I'm not. You Shirley's just, completely. You off just the said grid. Gandhi is burning in hell. <laughs> it's, every, it's exactly the same things that I try to get Shirley Phelps Roper to say. Um, here's uh, Wayne. Wayne, you're on fez. Hi, you buddies. Hey, buddy. Dick holder three oh six calling in. Oh, then that's uh, a face. Face, 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 face. Well, face for you, buddy. Face, face, face. 
just a kind of correction here. The Bible says thou shalt not murder. It doesn't say thou shalt not kill. It's a big difference. Yeah, but in some of those, uh, you know, stories, it, you know, the, the God's people are being told to wipe out every man, woman, and child. So yeah, I think if you're they, killing a child, that's murder. Well, that is correct, but they're, they're, they're being directed by God. Maybe God is going to tell yeah. them the murder, and then, yeah, here's what the thing is. You have rules, Fezzi. Right. Unless you hear a voice in your head that tells you to break the rules. you got to agree with that one, right, Earl? Yes. If God the, tells you to break the rules, you can. You follow the, God's directives. Mm -hmm. So if you heard a voice in your head saying, Earl, this is God. I need you to kill Fez. Would you do it? And if, that, if it came from God? It I'm, is God. If, I'm, I'm sorry, Fez. I would have to do it. I would have to follow the Well, thanks of loads, Earl. I, I don't want Earl, to kill this him. really is God. I really do want you to kill Fez. I, I, I don't want to kill my friend. Shh. Are you going to give God some shit? I, I mean, there's nothing against questioning him, but at the end, you're going to follow his direction. Oh, you're allowed to argue with God. <laughs> You can you can question, you can ask, you can... Why not? Oh, I bet God would just finally go like this with you. Like me. Oh, forget about it, or I'll get somebody else to do it. <laughs> For eternity. Oh, you're going to scare your God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's me, God. <laughs> I just always want to know to, like, Earl and Fez, why did God m seem to mellow out? You know, like, in the Bible, he was bringing his wrath on everyone, and as Fez mentioned, killing children and stuff right. like that. Well, why? Does the Bible have any reasons for yeah. that? Every uh, time that you have a family, you ever notice that the son is nicer than the dad? Yeah, I do notice so that. So Jesus has brought back, he's like, Dad, <laughs> please, I've been there. They're not as bad as you think. So Jesus would say, Dad, chill out. Je yeah, Jesus... Uh, was the first, well, in, in the history of the world, and this really helped with the, the spread of Christianity, it was the first time that God was perfect. If you look at the Greek gods, the Roman gods, they would get jealous, they would get angry, whatever. Jesus and, you know, the old Judeo stuff was the same way. You'd have an angry, eventual God. Jesus said this, God is pure love, you people are fucked up. And... At, a, at that point, people would rather think, it's my fault, I'm the reason why things happen, God is good. Before that, they used to think, God has destroyed the fucking plants and that we planted, we need to kill a young girl to take care of his bloodlust, okay? Oh, yeah. So after that, then Jesus came back and said, no, God is perfect, he's loving, every time something happens, it's because of you. And then people started to adapt to that. It helped people. Because hmm. it it's less scary. Yeah. Then you feel, I have some control. I can get on my knees and pray uh, a mil for you know 10 hours, and that'll be a good thing. Before that, you're like, I have no idea what kind of mood uh, God's going to be in. Maybe he's going to take the ships and throw them all the way into the <laughs> mountains. I don't know. I'm little. I'm a tiny little Greek. <laughs> It was probably, I guess, a good PR move to have, like, a nice, you know, loving God. Yeah, it worked out that way. Yeah. It worked out perfectly. Now, uh, but uh, Earl will tell you God will get jealous, correct, Earl? Yes, God has, and he's shown that he's gotten jealous. He's got, God has mood swings, terrible mood swings. Yes, uh, he's he's shown his jealousy, he's shown his wrath, and he's, he's like, nope. What would, would make God, God jealous in your eyes? If you, if you put other gods before him wait there's other gods this is really phenomenal news we're breaking this <laughs> on wow. the ron and fez show uh the baptist church believes that there are a lot of gods what I, other well, gods are there? well i didn't well if people who will put like, if you i mean and, and gods can be in, in various forms you could be worshiper of money you can be worshiper of of so money is god i'm not saying money uh, but so you saying money is god What's that? In some people's eyes, people can people will worship money more than they will. So God could become whatever you worship. It's something that's not real, and as long as you worship it, you give it the power. Oh, I get it now. Uh, thank you, Earl. I thought you were, you know, I thought you believed in the Bible itself. Here's Ted. Ted, you're on Hey, Ronnie, you sound like a million bucks. 
You know what? I feel about a buck three eighty today. I'm not going to lie to you. About a buck three eighty. Uh, Dave, do me a favor. Just turn around so everybody can see your hair, so they know Hi, that folks. what happens on the L and A show uh, is not fucking fake. It's real. All right. What were you going to say there, Ted? I got to wonder if Earl thinks that. 1,500 years worth of Native Americans that lived here before the white man settled the United States are all burning in hell. Well, the Native Americans, they, they worship God. They call them, the, you know, they call them, you know, they worship the sun. So it doesn't matter what you call God, you're worshiping God. It's, yes, obviously. That's a gave, big leap from the rest of the Bible. I, Earl represents, <laughs> Earl is telling us that whatever God you pray to is God. What I'm saying is, obviously, there were Native, Amer Native Americans were around before God. Before, before Jesus, so obviously they worshiped God. What about the ones after Jesus? The ones after Jesus, you had a choice. You could accept the Well, they didn't hear from him. They, he never came over, unless you're a Mormon. I mean, I'm pretty sure that they heard about him. And They're pretty about sure. Now, let, let's try to figure that out. You're an Indian, right? And you were living in, let's say, North Carolina. You think somehow they were going to pick up what happened in Jerusalem? Where were they going to hear these rumors? <laughs> From fucking dolphins? Well, no, of course not. But well, where are they going to hear from? You say those people should have heard about it, right? Yes. Where were they going to hear? Obviously, you know, news traveled far less slower, but it got Hell, <laughs> over no <laughs> smoke signals. At the fucking, uh, I'm going to say this. As far as I know, it took about 1,492 years for that news to travel. That's some slow-ass travel. Yes, but they obviously wouldn't they worship they're God. They're still it. responsible. Yes, they're still responsible. They're still responsible, even though they weren't going to hear about it for another... Uh, thousand five hundred years i mean while they're worshiping god god you know god is a gods they worship gods they worship nature well and they also worship you know god as a supreme being so that's just as good worshiping god is then they worship then, the sun then gandhi gets to get in you're yes, you're, you're not re re thinking about jesus and his part in all of this I said i understand that of what i'm Do saying you? <laughs> What I'm saying is, if you, you know, obviously with, let's say the Jews before Jesus, they worshiped God, and, you know, God found favor with them. So what's your point? So, yes, they, I mean, and they went to heaven, they worshiped God. In, Indians worshiped God. So you can bypass Jesus if you worship God. Yeah, I'm saying before. You, like, then Muslims before. go to, to heaven because they worship the same God you do. Well, they worship... But they don't even acknowledge, they call him Allah. They don't acknowledge you gotta call You got to call him God. I mean, I would call him God, yes. It's the same Bible from the Old Testament. I I never read the Koran, so I can never really compare one to the I other. I bet you would read it once and you'd fucking join them. You would be <laughs> uptown wearing a fucking weird suit. Why are you saying no, Earl? No, I would never be. I, I couldn't see myself as a Muslim. I saw him. Uh, so Jews go to heaven? Yes, the Jews go to heaven. Mm. So everyone but Gandhi. I mean, everybody he, but Gandhi he, goes to heaven. That makes no Poor guy. sense. And Allah is just an Arabic translation for God. It's not like they're calling him a different name. Richie, you're on Ryan Fez. Hey, do uh, cavemen go to heaven or hell? Where do the cavemen? Where are the cavemen right now, Earl? In Earl's world, cavemen. Uh. I would have. I guess they would be in hell. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I, I, what did we do? What did we do? What did we do? I'm just a caveman. Right, I didn't Earl, know. Here's one for you, right? Let's say over in uh, somewhere in the Middle East, a baby is born. Right? It's two years old. Gets hit by a truck. Where does that baby go? Doesn't rep, does not know anything about Jesus. Where does that baby go? It's going to heaven because it, it's not old enough. It has to, you don't. All right, you what age you got to be? So if you're a baby and you die, you go right to heaven. Yeah, because you. I mean, you're obviously you're not a, three years old. Can you go? Yes. Four years old. Yes. Uh, Nineteen. No. All right. So you. Here's what you uh, want to do. 
You want to die as early as you possibly can. <laughs> I know that sounds scary, but I'm talking about an eternity of good days. Jeez. What about 14? 14, yes. I mean, 14, yes, heaven? No, I mean, 14, yes, you go to hell. All right, yeah. 11. 11, uh, yes, we go to hell. Cause you, five. I mean, five. Uh, probably go to heaven. Because okay. All right, so five, you're, you're a little Muslim baby. <laughs> you get, um, let's say you fall down a well, you drowned. Uh, or an oil well. Let's do that. Burning oil well. Uh, you go to heaven. Uh, six years old. Uh, you're going to hell. I, I think hell. I think six. You can be accountable for your all right. out of so, kindergarten. Five, so, it, as six years old, in your idea, is an adult in God's eyes. I'm not saying an adult, but I you say make... this though. This I think would only be fair. If you are old enough to go to hell, I honestly think that you should be old enough to drink. I really <laughs> do. I just feel like at that point you have responsibilities. I, you know, but I think, you know, six, you can start to make decisions on your own. You, yeah, that's when I uh, started a railroad. I honestly <laughs> said it myself. I said, Mom, Dad, I'm starting my own business. I have a dream of having the railroad. I want to have New York match up with San Francisco. And I, I think I can do it. If I get Negroes on one side, Chinese on the other. My dad looked at me and he goes like this. You're 150 years too late, you fucking idiot. Wow. <laughs> But you were six at the time, so you were very responsible. Yeah, I mean, I, I could have went to heaven or hell. <laughs> right. Yeah. Dakota Fanning, she's right in that cusp right now. <laughs> well, how old was she? <laughs> what, she 10? Like 14. Yeah. Oh, is she she's that old? She's past the cusp. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Sorry, Dakota. All right, so <laughs> six years old. Now, even a Christian baby, I really think you should think about this. If you've got a kid and you know he's bad right? Mm -hmm. You see him running around, he's knocking shit down, he's being mean to the dog, whatever. Kill him before he's five. And that way you'll make sure you get him eternity for free. Because are we fucking believers or not? We are. I am. So let's start killing children to save them. I'm, to save their souls. I'm not saying, I'm not advocating at all killing children, but... What if it was to save a soul? Would you not want to get a soul into heaven when you could, Earl? Yes, but you, there's other ways to do it. I don't want to see them burn like Gandhi. I, there's other ways of doing it. Other than killing people. Um, Here's uh, Ryan. Ryan, you're on my face. This about it. It's Dick Holder 227. Yeah. How about you, buddy? Here's kind Hoo of how it works, and it was explained to me. <clears throat> if you've been informed about Jesus and or God, and you still do not accept the fact then, yeah, you pretty much go to hell. So, Kate, well, that's an, they, they see, you came up with an interesting thing that you can say, I accept God, but I don't like Jesus. No, 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 no. If you are informed of either one and kind of are given a little bit of a background in a story... But could you, and you, could you choose one over the other? They're one and the same. Uh-huh. So, no, you can't choose one over the other. Well, then, when, they're the same person, right? God and Jesus. So yeah. why, when Jesus was arguing on the cross and asking forgiveness for the people, when God was angry, right? Jesus right. was basically talking to himself? And when he, he said talked. his Father in Heaven, he meant me in Heaven? Yes, his Father in Heaven that put him here on Earth. Yeah. So as long as I tell you about Jesus, and you choose not to live a righteous life... But what if I choose the Father and not the Son? Uh, you know... It's a funny joke. No, I'm, ve I'm very serious. Because um, see, there are okay. people that choose the That's father, not the son. Uh, so uh, while you think it's a joke, no, there no, are I, people I out there who go, I do accept God, but not Jesus. Yes, that, those are Jews. Uh, and, and, and Muslims. And, and, and Muslims. And, and, and different sects of different religions. Right. But are they going to heaven? Yes. Yeah. Oh, everybody's going to heaven. <laughs> yeah. well, that's good. So, look, <laughs> let's, let's say this, right, Ryan? Uh, uh, the guys okay. that were in the 9-11 planes were right. as religious as you could be and right. are religious to the same God as you are. And they've turned themselves over and they believe and they did this on a righteous path in their religion. They're in heaven now and Gandhi is not. The man of peace, he's no. burning in hell, but the 9-11 terrorists are all in heaven. And the they're up there terrorists. with Joe DiMaggio and just having a great time. 
No, the 9-11 terrorists committed an abomination of murder, unrepentant. So, so no soldiers can get into uh, heaven? Soldiers don't murder. They kill. Okay. So, but they, in their minds, on their side, they were freedom fighters for a religious cause, the same God that you worship. You don't but think knowing, God's going to take that into consideration? No, because they know that it is not their responsibility to uh, divvy out justice on earth. Right. So, they believe God is so powerful, why didn't they let God handle us? Well, why? Uh, yeah, but in the same way, why do we have laws? Why do we have an army? If we really believe that God is so powerful, why would Christians do anything other than wait for God to do it? In essence of, of self-preservation to protect a just and organized, righteous society. Gotcha. So wrong, they were in the wrong country. Um, same move, wrong country. Yeah. All right. It, 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 all, right. Now I'm, all right, thank you very much. I'm picking up on this. All right, Earl. Uh, Joe DiMaggio is not going to run into any terrorists, even though they pray to the same God. No, he's not going to run into any terrorists in heaven. Right. Because they are from the wrong part of the world. Well, they committed, well, they committed such an awful sin. They murdered. You know, right. They murdered. All right, what about if you were uh, on our side and you're dropping bombs, right, on the other side, and some, some civilians get c killed? Those people go to hell? Yeah, if you if you don't ask God for forgiveness for your sins, yeah, you got to yeah. ask God for forgiveness. Yes, and then you can forgiveness. get away with anything. If I killed a bunch of people, then I said, "Forgive me." I go to heaven. Uh, Gandhi burns in hell. If you if you're true in your forgiveness, you, I am. <laughs> I you really sorry? I, I am. I go around all the time being sorry. Uh, here's Mark. Mark, your manifest. Hey, Earl, is Ron going to heaven or hell? Where am I going, Earl? Ron, you're going to heaven. Good. Well, that's bad news for you, because I'm going to make your heaven a living hell. <laughs> I, every day. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to be going like this. Da Vinci, you know who's an asshole? Earl. You going to badmouth me to Da Vinci? I, I fucking, literally. I will, I will fucking take Da Vinci away from his drawings. <laughs> hey, when I'm up there, am I going to paint as good as Da Vinci? Um, I, I, I don't know. Probably not. But Why not? No. I, 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 what kind of heaven is this? <laughs> if I'm still frustrated in my arts. Earl's totally wrong. <laughs> You're going to do whatever you want in heaven. Can you rape in heaven? <laughs> no, but you'll have consensual sex in heaven. So It'll all be consensual? Yes. That's not what I'm looking for. What I want <laughs> to do is rape. <laughs> Will I rape? I don't think you'll be able to do that. All right, um, Earl. Yes. Do uh, animals, do, do our pets, will we see them in heaven? I don't see uh, animals going to heaven, no. I really so don't. I don't. If but. you have a dog that you love, let's say Strummer, which, by the way, says, I love Dave's dog. Oh, yeah? I want it. Yeah, it's fantastic. Dave gets to heaven, right? Can he have Strummer up there? I don't see Strummer going to join Dave in the. What the won't Dave be brokenhearted in heaven? I don't. I think there'll be so much other good things going on in heaven. He still wants his dog. dog. Yeah. No, I. That I, is, I don't see. Then I want to go to heaven. So no animals. Uh, none of them are going to heaven. I don't see it. What are we going to eat, Earl? <laughs> if I'm going to heaven, is there going to be any food? I would see like the land of milk and I love the land of milk and honey. Concept. I can't fucking live on milk and honey. You know what? Have you ever had milk and honey together? Yes, I have. It's a fucking latte over <laughs> right now, and it's, it's not good. I wonder milk what they're charging. It's just like eating graham crackers for the rest of eternity. Uh, here's uh, James. James, you're on Earl, what about the Irish Republican Army? Catholics killing Protestants, will they go to heaven? Yes, obviously. They're going to go there. They accept uh, Jesus. They prayed before they killed people. They prayed after. That's a good thing, right, Earl? No, because you're still murdering innocent people. But So you got to you got to murder guilty people. The same murder, uh, the same murder they anyone. Are guilty. Dexter will go to heaven. If you torture a dog, Earl, will you go to heaven? You're torturing... Now, I'm, remember, a dog doesn't even have a soul. 
So torturing a, a dog is like torturing a fucking brick. <laughs> I think you know inflicting pain on anyone or anything is, is wrong. It's it's a sin to me. So what what do you do when you eat your food every day? I think it's a little painful for that chicken of yours. <laughs> I'm sure the chicken would have liked that a longer life. Well, obviously you you you're doing it for nourishment. Food is nourishment. That's what it is. And no, and and slaughtering of animals, it's in the Bible. Right. There's all kinds of things in that book. Here's Mike. You're on Fez. Hey, uh, according to Oral's rule, uh, aborted fetuses all go to heaven. I think that's fantastic. Do they, Earl? I think, yes, they're st- I think. But they're do they grow st- or they're the same size? Because uh, oh. I'll be freaked out. That is creepy if you're stepping around those. Especially if they can talk. Stop it. Don't even, why would they learn that? <laughs> Here's Jay. You're on Fez. Hey, you guys are making it far too simple. It's not as easy as heaven and hell. There's different levels of of, of uh, enlightenment. Mm-hmm. They're called the raptures. Um, those who are, are the, the most, uh, live the most righteous lives get taken in the first rapture, and they get to live in the, in the, in the best kingdom of God with, with Heavenly Father. Because so that's true. like that, that's like the roped-off area of heaven. That's a VIP area. That yeah, is so where... The roped-off area. Of yeah. And then there's uh, three levels below that. All right, so that's where Brad Pitt and Angelina are going to be in that area. Exactly. And if you hear, if you hear now, what God, religion you hear, uh, is this that you have with the roped-off levels? That's the Mormon religion, actually. Oh, Mormon. Exactly. Uh, Earl, if Mormons you, go into heaven? You, excuse me? I'm asking Earl if Mormons go to heaven. I believe they would go to heaven. They have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And then another guy after him. I always got told no in my church. Did they? Yeah, they said Mormons were a cult and they don't go to heaven. What do you think of uh, Fez's beard that he is not calling it? Well, it doesn't match his hair. I think it looks great. I think he looks like tax cunt. Oh. I really think that you look like you could be related to them. Is that a good look? Though? Yeah, it's a great uh. look. What do you think, girl? This is all natural. I, I love the beard. I like it without the coloring. I love he, the beard. It, gives him some, it, it, it adds wisdom. It he he very, does look like a sailor. Like yeah. an old, salty sailor. Uh, here's uh, Bronx Johnny. Hey, bosses, what's popping? Uh, I had yeah. a quick question. for. Has he ever heard of the Garden of Eden? Because there were animals in Eden. So wouldn't there be animals in, like, heaven? Because that was supposed to be, like, you know, poetry to what heaven was. I don't want to answer them. Well, they, yes, there were animals, but obviously Eve bit the apple, and we had original sin, and, you well, know, and here we are. Talked. I didn't think the unicorns in heaven was, like, they talk up there or something like that. Or panthers or nothing like that. Yeah, they blew it for all of us. Paradise. But isn't heaven paradise? That's his question. Yes, but then... I don't want to be naked in heaven. <laughs> what do you want to wear? I don't know. Some sort of robe. Not me. I'm cocky out the whole time. <laughs> no out there. way. And I will fucking... I'll just, like, if I come by and somebody like Marie Antoinette is fucking, laying, you know, sitting in a chair, I'll just be standing next to a cock out. <laughs> and I'll be like, you know, just fucking mouth level. How's everything going, Marie? Enjoying things? <laughs> Hey, it's heaven. It's heaven. I'm going to fucking enjoy myself. Yeah. This past weekend on the History Channel, they had one uh, another one of those specials banned from the Bible. Those ancient writings that didn't make the final cut to go into the older New Testament. And one they had, Adam had a first wife before Eve, named Lilith. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Here's Mongo for Earl. Uh, go ahead, Mongo, buddy. Hey, um, pagans have been around 30,000 years before Christianity, and pagans don't believe in hell, so where do we go? Where do they go, or if they don't believe? They they go to hell now. They have they, You have a choice now. Now you have a choice. Yeah. But Except we believe Christ in God. Not. We just... We were, we're, pagans have been around 30,000 30, years before Christianity, so what happens to us? But, you know, do you reject or accept Jesus Christ, the teachings of Jesus Christ? But you said that the Jews don't have to. The Jews reject the teachings of Jesus Christ, and yet in your world they still go to heaven. Yes, because they were, they were God's cho- chosen people. He's, he's given So it doesn't to matter what people. sins they do or what they say about Jesus. Lenny Bruce is in heaven right now. 
saying if you ask for forgiveness for your They're sin. not. They're not. That's not their thing. They're not going to ask for forgiveness. They're not going to pray to Jesus at all. I mean, still, I mean, the, you know, the acts you do here on earth, they still count for something. They still... It's a complicated system you've set up for us, Earl. <laughs> it's a very complicated yeah. system. Mongo, what you don't get in. I'm sorry. What happens to us is if we do good things on earth, it comes back in karma. The karma is the good and bad. Car you know what I like is that karma corn, and it comes <laughs> back so delicious. You send it away, corn. and it's just regular corn, but it comes out all caramely. Ooh, <laughs> sweeter. Thanks, Mongo. <laughs> Thanks. All right, uh, Earl's teaching us a lot about the Bible today. You're really good when it comes to this stuff, Earl. I said I, I try my best, Ron. Try so animals do not get to heaven. I mean, I I don't think so. I don't. What really are we going to eat in heaven? Like, what's wrong with you know? I love like, milk and honey. We got manna. We got uh, ew. Fruit. So we're we're going to be vegans. We're going to be on a vegetarian. Now, where do we get the milk? If we have no cows, well, you know, the where price. do we get the honey if we have no bees? What is this fucking food coming from? Are we we got to buy it on Earth? The land is this the, the verse. The land is flowing with milk and honey. It's already flowing. What do you mean flowing? It flows from cows' tits. What do you say? It happens in heaven. Heck, I, that I can't explain. And we know cows aren't allowed in heaven. Well, they don't, ex they don't have souls. Right. right. By Earl's standards, so that rules out the cows. So where is this honey flowing from? Do you know what it takes to actually make honey? What the bees have to do? How much work goes into a thimble full of honey? It's a lot of work. So you're saying, in your idea, we're going to get up there, and because of this flowing honey, there's just going to be bees everywhere. Oh. I didn't say there were going to be bees everywhere. Bees. Where I'm going to have to be like this. Uh, excuse me, Eleanor Roosevelt. When you go outside, be careful for the bees. <laughs> They're all over the place. What if some souls are allergic? Do we have sex in heaven, Earl? Uh, I would hope so. If you're going to be reunited with your various partners, yeah, I don't see various why. partners. <laughs> so you can have more than one. <laughs> wow. Apparently, well, heaven's very clinical. <laughs> various partners. Can you have anal in heaven? <laughs> I don't know if you can have anal in heaven. Why no. not? Well, I, I believe the Bible considers that very unnatural and not mm. right. Okay. So no anal, no oral, I guess, right? Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I can't recall a verse that's against oral sex, no. Okay. <laughs> so you can have oral, but not two men together. No, no men. But two no women men. together can. Uh, no, wim no women. Then I ain't fucking no girl. 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 <laughs> I will have nothing to do. Yeah, unfortunately, no girl and girl. Anytime you're with a woman, it's going to be fucking girl and girl. <laughs> I highly disagree with that, but I highly disagree. <laughs> I highly disagree with you <laughs> with your facts. Uh, Brent, Brent, you're on the Ron and Fez show. What's going on, Ron? What about Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise going to be in heaven, Earl? Um, if he doesn't accept Christ, no, he will not be going to heaven. Well, he does accept Christ. He just calls him L. Ron Hubbard, a sci-fi writer. <laughs> Won't he get to heaven if all of his thetans are already out of him? No, you would have to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. Mm. So that's all I have to do. Is accept Christ as my Lord and Savior, and I'm in. Yes, no, that's, that's easy enough. Jesus, that's easy as enough. <laughs> but Jesus the, never said that, to my recollection. He never went around preaching, "You have to accept me, or you will not go to heaven." Right. Well, this Bible that Earl uh, loves so much, Jesus didn't write. Correct. He really worships people, not Jesus himself. He worships people who wrote a book. Well, and how many of those people wrote those books, Fez? How many hands wrote the Bible? Oh, you probably got like 20, 25 people, 30 people that wrote the Bible. Really? So those are the ones that you that you worship, Earl? I'm not worship. I mean, obviously, I mean, some of them walked with Jesus and, you know, wrote no. down some of his teachings. None of the gospel writers walked with Jesus. None. I took 12 years of Catholic school. I think John did. No, the I think John was he was supposed to be uh, wrote wrote that in like 120 A.D. He, now he's very close to uh, Jesus, but to Jesus' time, but he didn't walk with Jesus. 
That's from what I, I learned. I, I thought James were walking through. Why is it that you believe in the Bible so much, Earl? And every word of it you believe, right? Yes. I mean, I mean, I, I remember reading, trying to read it as literature, and I was fascinated with I've always been fascinated with the That's Bible. That's not what I asked you. And I believe... I, did not, I asked in, you why you believe in every word of it. And uh, you saying that it's great literature, you would be the only fucking critic in the history of the world of literature who think that, that it rolls really well. As a bulk, it fights itself way too much. But um, the Bible, it has, it has life lessons. It has... That's not what I'm talking about. Why do you act like that is the word of God? Be well, it seems closer to for my interpretation of what God is. That's because that's where you got it from, your church. Why is it that you think that these people who wrote this book were right? They're not Jesus, right? No, they're not Jesus, but... Why is it that you give them all the power over you, then? If you're a believer in Jesus, who are these other guys who wrote a book? What do you care what they say? Well, as I, you know, but... I mean, it's hard to put into words, but... I mean, it just seems very... It, it rings very true to me. I can't really... I can't... <laughs> because I, that's where you learned it from. You learned it from the Bible. That's why... It fits with right, your right, well, beliefs. He's not getting me at all. Right. He doesn't get the central fucking part of my question is if you love Jesus so much and you're a follower of Jesus, why are you listening to these other men, these other foreigners who wrote this book? Why does it have such a big deal for Americans? And I'm not saying that. I'm not trying to be blasphemous. I'm not trying to put you down, Earl. I'm just really, really curious. Why that book? Well, well, other you know, obviously there were references in the Old Testament to Jesus in it. Obviously, I mean, and I've studied other religions. I've I've read about other. Why religions. doesn't he understand what I'm saying? Oh, because he's stupid. That's what oh. it is. I was trying to come up with a with a reason, and I found it. <laughs> I am asking a question of um, some moss that's grown on the upper part of a rock. And that is our own Earl. <laughs> now, why would they bring up Jesus in the Old Testament, Fez, <laughs> when he doesn't even exist? <laughs> One day, well, there'll be a Jesus. <laughs> oh, they reference him as the great prophet. They reference him. There's, there's, that there's, hasn't arrived yet? Yeah, they said, you know, there has been. They, rep, they don't reference him. They don't mention him by name, but they're saying who will be descended from the Son of God. Yes, that is coming, correct? That is coming, yes. Yes, and, and guess what the Jews are doing? They're still waiting for him. He hasn't arrived. According to the <laughs> chosen people that you're so crazy about, the ones whose you know, ancestors wrote the Old Testament that you're using, Jesus wasn't the guy. They're still waiting for the guy. Yes, and that's why we have a New Testament. We have a New Testament with... <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't understand. He doesn't understand. I want to believe, Earl, and it should be you that is touching me. You, it's on you right now to bring me in. Your salvation rests upon this. You've no, got I'm to get better. I mean, I mean, I, You've I have, got to get better. Oh, I have abs you, you're absolutely right. I'm not, obviously, I'm not explaining myself very well. And, and you, know, that's why, you know, that's why I go to church every Sunday. So I, could, eh, so I, I don't think you pay it. any attention at all. Fez, I tried to email you some things for the show last night. And your uh, AOL account said, I'm sorry, I can't take this. Um, I'm full. You got the same thing, did I you? I got the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, my. How e many emails are you getting? Um, I had a thousand in there, and mm. that shut it down. That w It wouldn't allow any more emails that to come out. How come only a thousand? I don't know. That's what the, the pop-up said. You have a thousand emails, and you cannot receive any more email. How old is your computer? Uh, it's probably like five years old. Because you, your sister had to come over to my house because she couldn't get on because uh, Fez has the old dial-up. Oh, no. And I didn't even know it existed anymore. <laughs> yeah, you can still dial up. Yeah, you plug into the phone line. Why do you want to, though? Well, I don't know. I've just never made that. I guess, one time I got told my computer was too old to make the switch. Why don't you take, why don't you reach into that big bag of fucking money you sleep on? And grab a thousand and buy yourself a new fucking computer. Because I don't use it for all that much. I mean, I write some things that, you know, I type some stuff. 
You know, I check the internet. I don't use my computer for all that many things. I can't believe you're not my mom. The way that I hear <laughs> you talk about things. So you can only go to a thousand, and you're still sitting there with the old fucking dial-up from 1997. Right, yeah. Yeah, I still have that. So, yeah, and so I cleared out about a hundred. I just don't delete my emails. Ever? I'm, very rarely. I mean, I had to go delete some so I could get some new ones now. Why don't you delete emails? I'm always worried that I'm going to need one of those emails again. Like, what? I'm going to have to reference it back. You you can save it. They have a saved folder. You, you're on AOL, right? Right. They, there's a saved folder. So I've you, never used that. You have to. <laughs> it'll, avoid crisis, it'll, it'll avoid things like this. And not only this, but I called, uh, I, after I couldn't, I tried to email him twice, then I called up his house, and his answering machine is all insane. Sure, because he's on the fucking <laughs> internet, he can't answer the phone. It's like, it's like you were in 99, when people would go, how come you didn't answer? Oh, I'm sorry, I was on the computer. <laughs> right. I must and, have been online deleting. But the answer machine, yeah, it's asked you to do all these weird steps, and you it can't figure it out. Call so. Fez's house right now. I, I don't know his answer machine. If somebody doesn't answer by two rings, I hang up. <laughs> doesn't uh, Earl know your number? I don't think so. Have you heard your answering machine? You know what? I've never heard my answering machine. I've never called it. Well, it's an inside day, Fezzy. Here's another inside job for us. We're going to call your house uh, and uh, see what your answer machine says. All right, here we go. A pick up on line 10. Oh, we got to pick up. That's weird. Hi, you're on Ron Fez. Oh, no, it's you. Starting with the area code. If you have a mailbox on this system, please press the pound key. Uh, why don't you recall it, Earl? Well, Whoops, it still was talking. <laughs> what, what does it want you to do? Dial up again, but he. it sounds like you have to dial the phone number. So I get confused as to... Do I have to hang up and then redial the phone number? And in which case, what sense would that make? Or do I dial the phone number while still on as like a, as if it's a, a, a passcode? All right, here we go. You're ringing. Welcome to Verizon's voice messaging service. If you want to leave a message, please redial the number of the person you are calling. Why would you redial? The area code. If you have a mailbox on this system, please press the pound key. And we did redial and got the same message again, obviously. So then I think what they should do is redial the code, maybe. If you want to leave a message, please redial the number of the person you are calling. So you can't leave you a message. That's weird. That's why Do you ever have any messages at home? I mean, very rarely. And this is the problem. So I couldn't email him. I couldn't leave a message. More. I'm like, Fez is, what if he's hurt or something? This is... And she just keeps repeating this. Yeah. Here, this goes back to we talked about Fez yesterday. There's not a single part of his life that is working correctly. Not a single thing. Right down to his computer and his telephone. Right. And then the other problem is... If you know how everyone is on speed dial and stuff, so I couldn't even once I've speed dialed Fez's phone, I can't then you know dial his phone number into the the phone while I'm on with it because I can't remember it. Of course not. It's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, Ace, you're on running Fez. What's going on, boys? Hey, I buddy. work for one of the local companies. The, the The problem is there's a problem with the voicemail system itself. It's not going directly into his voicemail box. And so he wouldn't get it anyway. <laughs> well, I'm not sure, so. Am I even hearing that ring there? This is, this is why you're not getting fucking uh, messages, Fez. Because no one can leave them. It's impossible to leave them. Earl, give me something for the edge. I had a fucking piece of cantaloupe two hours ago. Why shouldn't my fucking... Uh, why shouldn't... Oh, I remember why I have uh, heartburn. My life. Oh, are you the world's worst runner? You're like a fucking turtle without a shell. How how old are you guys? I'm a uh, 24. There's no reason to be that. That's a fucking 54 year old man. <laughs> I, just, I won't see 25. If, if, but if I run like full speed, I make a lot of noise. You Let's see you run full work speed. The yeah. Oh, I'm like oh my god. Oh my god. He looks like Danny DeVito in Batman Returns. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have arms. <laughs> Not look like the penguin. <laughs> Uh, hey, James. James, you're on Fez. 
Hey, how's it going? Yeah. That voicemail's never been set up, Fez. <laughs> That's what it says when you first buy it. That's Verizon. You have to set the When did you buy your answer machine? Well, that was years ago. I mean... <laughs> I Everything thought it was is set up. fucked up in your life. I thought it was set up with the bu- with the answering machine box, not with Verizon. Uh, That's you, what I'm confused about. Does your answering machine still have a tape? Are you still using one of those? I think types? it's got one of those little micro tapes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you getting no? Oh my god! He's Are you fucking I, kidding? No, I am not kidding. I thought. Well, I mean, well, here's the thing. I was going to say, if it works, why change it? But it's obviously not working. He comes to work on a horse and buggy, too. He still uses an abacus to do math. You don't have one part of your life that's working, bro. No, there's not one thing that is connecting. Then let's do this. We move crazy Jen in with you and let her straighten you out. And I'm not even kidding about that. There is no way I am letting crazy Jen in my home Why did you live with me. Why did you push Coco away? What happened there? That was that was nerves, and I got anxious, and it was it was just nerves. What did she do to make you anxious? Well, I it, the, the, she offered to move in with you and become your assistant too. I know that. So you've had two different women who said, "I'll be your full time assistant." Right. You don't want either one of them. No, I'm not comfortable with having a full time assistant living in my house. One of them will have sex with you. I'm sure the other <laughs> one would too. Crazy sex. <laughs> Why not? You're not obviously you're not handling it yourself. No, but I, it seems like I would feel bad like if I moved someone into my house and then said, you know, hey, this really isn't working. Get back out of my house. And with Crazy Jen, I don't even have to worry about that. I know it wouldn't work. She would drive me insane. How about just hire her for a tempor- amount, temporary amount of time? Say it's a three month gig. It's ninety I, days in the hole. That's a good idea. I know, Crazy Jen. That is not going to work. That it's she is going to drive me more insane. Have we? Uh, I got stuff from your uh, wife yesterday on this place in Westchester for Fez. Mm-hmm. The something wins. Yeah. And then what you wins? talked to Nicole in DC about the place that they have down there. I got an email from her, so I got to email her back. That's a place that you check in for a finite amount of time. Right. What seems scarier to you? Moving in a Coco or a Crazy Jen and let them kind of take over for a while or check it into one of these places for a finite or more amount of time. Moving in a Coco or a Crazy Jen. You'd feel more comfortable going into the place. and Right. Okay. Than having someone come into my place. I think that's a legitimate, uh, you know, thing then. Wow. That surprised you? That did surprise me. Because I would think going away, mm-hmm. it would be a lot more fearful. That's not that it's you not see, frightening. You see why I'm trying to get you on another show? You see why I'm looking out for you? Yeah, I do. Thank you. Yeah. Do you think things are going to get better? <laughs> <laughs> Earl, you see why I want you with Eddie Trunk? I don't understand, but I still don't want to go. <laughs> he doesn't get it. Look, you get on that right life raft. Let go of Daddy's legs. <laughs> Daddy is going to be fine. I just want to get you girls in the life raft. It's got to just be bizarre over there, huh? I bet you haven't fed that cat in quite some time. Um, the other day I forgot to feed the cat. Yeah. So, I mean, that doesn't happen too often because the cat's pretty noisy when she doesn't eat. But there was one day where I forgot to feed the cat. Uh, we're having a big party for you. Is it Friday night? Saturday night. Saturday night. At the Crow's Nest, uh, 2nd Avenue and 92nd Street, Upper East Side, mm-hmm. right there. The Crow's Nest starting around 9 p.m. There's going to be uh, like a, a happy hour uh, special and everything. Right. I'll probably be at Elaine's before then. But then after I'm oh. done, I'd love to come over and see you. Thank you very much. Well, my chick has been asking me for six weeks, what do you need? And I always forget to say it. Um, what does the baby need? Can the baby ask for moolah? <laughs> no. Johnny um, Cash? No. Yeah, but is that just going to go into booze? No, it, it, apparently not. One thing I am praying for is that Mooch and Pepper uh, you know, fall off the wagon before that day, because that's going to be a tough day to stay off the booze. But um, the baby's good. The baby, you know, diapers. Fuck it. 
and I'm not just playing around, but people have been so generous. We've gotten a crib, a place, uh, PlayStation, play a playpen. We've yeah, got right? everything. Yeah, I think diapers actually do, do come to like thousands of dollars a year. But I'm serious. You just yeah, go no, through so many don't of act, them. Don't act like I don't fucking know. No, I know. I'm going like this. You shit again? <laughs> you fucking shit machine? <laughs> right. You eating shit machine? Yeah, so that's that's like a, a very useful item that we definitely need. All right, Coco feels bad, Fuzzy, that uh, that you stopped liking her. It's been a while since you talked to her, right? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a long Weeks. while. Yeah. What was the turnoff thing there? Um, it was just you know it wasn't a turnoff thing. It was nothing that Coco did. It was just me, you know, being Fez. Uh, here's uh, Greg. Greg, you're on running Fez. Hey, what's up, buddy? Yeah. Uh, yeah, my sister was in that place in uh, Westchester you guys were just talking about. Right. I don't know if you want me to say the name again. Yeah, something wins. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you want me to say it or no? You can say it. Oh, it's uh, Four Winds. Four Winds. Four Winds. Yep. And uh, she, she she was in and out of a couple different ones, and that one is by far the, the nicest, the, the, the staff, everything. Same. It's pretty, uh, pretty top notch for, for, for what it is, you know. But it's clean, it's... It's a nice place. For, Would you, know. you uh, give that to uh, Dr. Steve? Would you send it to Dr. Steve? We already have. Yeah. Already have. We're on top of that. Good. He's going to check that shit out. Because this is Casey. Been wanting Fez to go there for a long time, right? Yep. The both of us talked about it, but yeah, she... she was... uh, yeah, but I am not going to trust you. I think Casey's <laughs> right. a little more level-headed. Well, she is. Would you feel more comfortable with that Fez, something that's close by New York, or would you rather go out west? No, I would rather have something close by Wait, like that. Let me tell you something what they do out west. They wear fucking cowboy hats and shit like that. So, <laughs> well, <that's>... yeah, <laughs> you know, you're out there, I don't know, you're fucking playing wacky rodeo or, you know, uh, nut bar roundup. There is a place, a hospital called the nut bar that I love. <laughs> I think uh, they brand you is when it, you leave. It sounds discount. Yeah. All right. So you want to go to the Four Winds. If that was my choices, yeah, four wins. Yeah. Or the, the the nut bar or the dude ranch. They have a place. You're in there for 180 days. I was reading about it yesterday. And by the time you get out of there, you're going to know how to, A, uh, fix your answer machine. <laughs> B, Need it. call the cable company and say, look, if you're going to hook up the TV, why don't you just hook up the computer at the same time? <laughs> Probably should update that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you this, too, when you're away, I want your cat. What's your cat's name? Skippy. <laughs> Stupid. I want Skippy to live with, with Strummer for a while. <laughs> oh, that would be a joy. I'm telling you, I'm not even fucking kidding here. You can't believe how great his dog is. Really? Yeah. This dog is like a little mink stole. Yeah. It's a, it looks like a mink stole that's alive. What kind of dog right. is it? It's a Pomeranian. Oh, okay. But uh, did you notice its right rear leg? That um, it's missing its right rear foot, but not the entire leg. So it just looks Ugh. like it has like a little pirate's peg leg. On it's it. a holding dog. <laughs> Everybody holds it. Oh, but yeah. it loves you. And it saw uh, Deb and was like, tr like you know how like a baby will try to go to you. Right. That's what it was doing. And I was like, this is a great dog. Yeah. Does it? So it runs around on three legs. Yeah, when it it, it when it goes uh, for like a real speedy run, uh -huh. it kicks the right rear uh, leg up like it's a uh, like a bike kickstand. <laughs> so mm. it just kicks it up like it, it, and and, it's and keeps on, it up. And keeps dogs it up. are fucking amazing. How it uh, like they will deal with missing a leg. You never see them complain or they don't care, bitch. They just roll on like it's nothing. Yeah, it's amazing and it's very people friendly. It does it has a problem sometimes with other dogs? Fuck other dogs. I don't want any <laughs> other dog around that dog. But it's very people friendly. It's a great dog. It really is. I've grown quite attached to it. All right, um, all right. You can uh, register for diapers and stuff on Amazon.com and Target.com for. Uh, Dave's baby. If you want to be so nice. I just don't want to be the guy who buys you a bunch of diapers. No, hey, diapers is diapers. You need them. You yeah, need I them. know. I mean, right, and everyone's been great, and everyone who gave us these things, 
uh, before, like right now, it's been wonderful, but the toys, we don't, you know, now I think we don't need just toys. Like Fuck little toys. Alligators. You got enough. Yeah, you're enough for that right, stupid yeah. shit. You need real stuff. You and need I'm, some Johnny yeah. Cash. And I'm not bad now that the people who bought toys because you did they're a great idiots job. And they're, they're not th- <laughs> Seriously, the last thing that you think when you have a six month old is, I wish we had more toys for her. Yeah. Please. Especially a one, well, one bedroom Brooklyn apartment. Yeah, what are you, a child? You think everybody's interested in toys? Uh, the kid's not going to be interested in anything more than a nipple. <laughs> right. All right. But everyone's been generous. All right, hold on. Here's uh, Deb is uh, telling me what to get you. I want to get you something nice. Now, I mean, like I said before to you on the phone, Mr. B, uh, it, you know, if you could come up with 10 Gs, the drummer could be yours, right in your back pocket. 10 Gs, huh? That's yeah. a $10,000 dog? I'm telling you, there's $10,000 worth of love in that dog. Mm. I mean, it, what I wanted you to get out of the cat experience is what this dog is like. And mm. when you got a cat, I'm like, I think you want a dog mm-hmm. because dogs love you. This dog made me feel better about myself and made everybody else. And I just really wanted to gut it, skin it, what? and wrap it around my uh, chick's shoulders so it would always be nearby. Okay, it's like a stole. Yeah. It looks like an, a live a mink stole. It's, the dog looks like a mink. Yeah, it does. A, a friendly mink. A mink. Is he soft like that? It's a she, but um, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very soft. She, of course, Fezzy. No fucking boy dog's going to be missing a leg. <laughs> <laughs> um, I still have a theory that the dog is one of the Russian um, fox dogs of the, sev- of the 1950s. Because in communist Russia, they, just, they, wanted to, they did experiments. <sighs> okay. Boring. Uh. Um, here's uh, Jim. Jim, you're on the Fez. Hey, guys. Hey, Fez, I'd like to apply to be as your assistant. Yeah, I'm not taking applications, Jim. I was told you were. If anybody would be your assistant, who would it be? It would be Coco over Crazy Jen. <laughs> if I was, if, if those are my choices narrowed down. But yesterday you're like, I want to make moves and I want to do things, right? Right. Why are you now turning back on that? Well, I guess... There's, I, I guess I wasn't open to all the moves. Mm. But remember yesterday, he was Professor Yes? Yes. Yes, I should. Yes. Oh. And what did I say? Oh, you remind me of the old principal's office when I would say anything to get out of the heat. <laughs> now we're here. No, not really. But you're ready to check in. Yeah, well, I'm going to fire a therapist today, and before I do, I'm going to ask her what she thinks. So now we're not even I'm ready to check in. I'm going to ask a fired therapist whether I should or not. And why would you ask the therapist who you're about to fire any advice at all? For doing nothing for you. I wouldn't give her the time of day if I knew I was going to fire her. Hey, I want to plug uh, Mafia Life's Chris things. Let's all try to support Chris today. Uh, How do we do that? Oh, wait. Chris is on. I literally got to the life of Mafia Life. Chris. Hey, what's up, buddy? Yeah, how do we support you today? Me? Yeah, what is that uh, website? Uh, VoteForGames.com. Is it still going on? It's still going on. I don't know what's go- You know, they, they took a couple hundred votes leads. We need to hit them hard. Oh, it's not going to happen then. We can't catch them. They're too damn good. So you go to votesforgames. VoteForGames.com and then just click the Mafia Life? Yeah, click the Mafia Life link and then the vote button. But I called to support Fez on something. What's that? Fez, I, I keep hearing you and noticing you closing yourself off to relationship, no matter what it is. It's like, I can't do that. I don't want to do that. It's, meanwhile, right now you need relationship, whether it's you know friends, lovers, therapy, groups, you know counseling, and so forth. You need to open yourself up to relationships more than ever because any issues that are causing anxiety, in my opinion, and this is from experience, are created through relationship, and the only way you're going to learn out of them is through another relationship. Huh? And I love you, and I really do, man. He and plays I, I uh, a lot of online medical, mental health games oh. where you go there and you're like one person will be the counselor the other person will be the inmate I wonder where the experience was coming from so the way I see it today Fez all the stuff you agreed to yesterday is all on hold no no it's not on hold we're going to see what the 
the old counselor thinks. I do. I do want to see what she says. Yeah, mm. and make a decision from there. So the decision you made yesterday was not a decision. Today N- will be the decision. No, I think I just got confused. Yesterday? No, no. Today I'm confused because. No, because I I'm still open to going away somewhere. Oh, they're destroying you, uh, Chris. Yeah. Now, if no. you stay in second place, you're in good shape, though. Yeah, that's fine. People go there and they can still see. I don't win the advertising, but fuck it. I have a strange feeling that the the number one uh, game is actually owned by that voting site owner. Well, also, I, I've heard this. People, uh, I said when I tried to help you yesterday, certain yeah. factions of the listeners started to vote. For the other place. Because <laughs> they're fucking cruel. I, I'm not going to lie to you and say that there's not a lot of cruel listeners. Hurtful. You know it as much as I do. Yes, it's all right. But you got Maybe. that other good news coming up. Yeah, very soon. Yeah. All right. Fuzzy, so listen. Don't look to get rid you know, of the problem. You want to learn to live with it. It's, it's fairly simple once you get a grasp, brother. It's all right. It's My French is still with you. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Frenchie uh, is doing it. Yeah. yeah. No, Frenchie's yeah. doing good. And yeah, Chris is doing... He's talking about himself, Fez. This is what he's doing. He's reaching out and said, I've gone through anxiety things myself. I mean, if anybody knows about it, me and French, we live this fucking disease. It's a disease. You learn to manage and grasp living with it. You don't try to, you know, get rid of it completely. It's like a mind behavioral thing, type of thing. You, it, it's okay. You're going to be fine, without a doubt. All right, you thanks, Chris. Un- unconditional love, brother. Thank you, buddy. See you guys. Uh, here's uh, Brendan. Brendan, you're in Hey, how you doing? I, was, uh, I wanted to take care of uh, Fez's cat when he goes away. He's not going anywhere. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Uh, coming up Monday, we have the unmasked things. And uh, I think tomorrow we're going to announce the next unmasked already? Um, I believe that is the plan. Mm-hmm. But uh, I was told from XM to, uh, to wait for word on when to announce. Okay. So. Why are we waiting? Um. We're waiting because XM wants to do it a different way. They want to reach out to this person's people. So, uh, it's very confusing. It's very frustrating. Mm -hmm. So, it's part of the stress, that's for sure. Do you know about this, Earl? Do you want Earl to take take it over? Yeah, I'll take it over for you, Fez, if you need to. If it's stressful on you? Yeah, Earl can have this. Because you can't, you can't make it happen. Well, I'm just, I'm frustrated because I've talked to people at XM, uh-huh. and I feel like I've run out of people to talk to. Even Wiki I, won't help. No, I've talked to Wiki about this, and Wiki distances himself from this. Everybody's waiting for the. Uh, well, the person who's probably going to take this over is Jeremy Coleman, so that shouldn't be a problem. Maybe that's what they're Jeremy, waiting for. Jeremy's my guy. But that's where the frustration comes in, that it has to be more complicated than it actually has to be. Now, a lot of people are saying that they haven't heard back yet, and I know that they should be able to. So who's in charge of that? That's Jamie. And I have asked Jamie, and Jamie has told me everyone has gotten a response. What about Dean from Brooklyn? He didn't get one. We know him. Right, exactly. And I I cite examples, and I'm told everything went out. Mm. So I get in a frustrating stalemate. And for some reason, what went out was another request form. So I don't know why it has to be so unbelievably complicated. Mm. I don't know either. Let's call your phone. Maybe, maybe there's something on your answer machine. I doubt it. Why not? It doesn't work. Sure it does. I'm sure Jamie's left as a message at home. <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about that. Ah, here we go. If you want to leave a message, please redial the number of the person you are calling. How can we do that? The area code. If you have a mailbox on this system, please press the pound key. 
here I am at 10 o'clock at night, literally talking to that woman, to <laughs> saying, should I hang up before I redial? If you want to leave a message, please redial. <laughs> Chris didn't hear back either. So, Earl, you got to put on your own thing with our friends on it, your own uh, little deal, okay? All right. Can you get that going? Yes, I, got, I already got it going.